Mastering quantifiers in English. Many, much, few, and little. Hello there, language learners. Today, we'll tackle an essential part of English grammar, quantifiers. We'll specifically focus on the words many, much, few, and little, and how they interact with countable and uncountable nouns. These words play a vital role in everyday conversation, so it's worth taking some time to understand them fully. Before we dive into the usage of many, much, few, and little, it's crucial to comprehend the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are things that we can count individually. Examples include apples, dogs, chairs, etc. Uncountable nouns, on the other hand, cannot be counted individually as they often represent abstract concepts, materials, or collective entities. Examples include water, music, love, etc. When we want to talk about a large quantity of something, we use the words many and much. Many is used with countable nouns. For instance, I have many friends. Much is used with uncountable nouns. For instance, I don't have much time. Remember that much is more often used in negative sentences and questions than in positive statements. Contrarily, when we want to talk about a small quantity of something, we use the words few and little. Few is used with countable nouns. For example, I have a few friends. Little is used with uncountable nouns. For example, I have little time. Just like much, little is more often used in negative sentences and questions than in positive statements. Let's put our knowledge into practice with some fill in the blank exercises. 1. I don't have, blank, time to finish this project. Much? Little. 2. There are, blank, people at the party. Many? Few. 3. I have, blank, money left after paying my bills. Much? Little. 4. There are, blank, apples left in the basket. Many? Few. Feel free to pause the video to think about the answers. And that wraps up our lesson for today on using many, much, few, and little with countable and uncountable nouns. We hope that this video has clarified these quantifiers for you and will make your English conversations more fluent. Remember, practice is key, so don't forget to use these words in your daily English use. See you in the next lesson.